off, I want to thank Mike Lundy for all the work he's done here. Uh, yeah! Yeah! Every bit as important, every one of you. Um, I did, we just toured. I, I want to say thank you to the uh, super, uh, a really uh, decent human being. I think uh, I understand that Mike is very supportive in the way he talks. I get he's very supportive. I want to thank the mayor for coming out and a couple of city councilors. Uh, but just to say this, we're we're uh, we're doing the crisis in corrections campaign. And we were going to start in Ottawa, but to me, uh, up in Ottawa, the local president there said you should go to uh, talk to Mike. I said, I like the fuck. So Ottawa gave up his spot on the roster so we could come up here first because of everything that happened. So uh, I, I, I got to hand it to you. Uh, I just did a tour in there, and I, I, I don't believe I could ever imagine what it would be like to work in there under the conditions that you have. I wouldn't even try to guess. So all I can say is my hat's off to you and uh, my heart. But, you know, we just want you to go to work safe, come home safe to your families, to your loved ones, and uh, and hopefully get back to that point where, you know, you don't mind going to work, right? I mean, I was one of those lucky people. I enjoyed my job. I worked in the psych hospital in case used to fight the bosses now and again, but I was lucky. And uh, But they're not what it used to be either. So Mike, uh, uh, Mike will be coming down to Toronto Thursday evening for an all-presidents meeting for corrections to talk about going back to bargaining table Friday. Um, so all that's in play, but this campaign is, 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 is to support bargaining, but beyond. The, but the government starting your budget uh, deliberations for the spring budget, so we got to get there and get the government to put at least a hundred million into the correctional system in Ontario. build a new a new jail up here but not a private jail a public jail run by the public yeah. and enough people in the system so you can have enough people on a ship that you're not working you know like overtime stressed out and you can't take it anymore your body just gives out and that's for everybody that works in jails be it the nurses and everybody right so again I, Mike thanks for having me up I truly appreciate it Mike's been great and uh, I, Mr. Mayor, would you like to say a few words? Good luck to what politician doesn't. Uh, <laughs> first of all, I want to recognize Chief Collins and Glenn Thank you very much for being here, sir. And, uh, this one is near and dear to my heart. 1977, I was the first police officer on the scene here of a jail riot, and the whole jail was taken over. And a lot of it was because of the conditions. And you know, I toured this uh, facility six months ago or so with other counselors, and nothing has changed since 1977. Absolutely nothing. Uh, we, took Shame. 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 we took prisoners out of here uh, that were overdosed. We took uh, guards out uh, that were traumatized and probably still are suffering PTSD and their PTSD. And uh, it's high time. We went down to uh, Niagara Falls in August at Demo and met with the Minister of uh, Correctional Services and asked for a new jail. And now I'm, I'm challenging, challenging, challenging that ministry to do just that and do it now. They told us there's, there's going to be a six-month study uh, on correctional uh, facilities in Ontario and the system. That's all well and good. But this facility needs to be torn down or turned into a condominium. proper facilities to work in. Uh, when you take care of the prisoners, the inmates, then your job is a lot safer as well. And that's uh, something that really has to be impressed upon the ministry. So I'm just going to an intergovernmental affairs meeting again today. Uh, we're going to put it on our agenda for February again. This time we're going to demand that the minister build the new deal here. overwhelmed by the support out here. Uh, this is awesome. Um, I wanted to thank Steve Smalls inside. I mean, I do want to appreciate the fact that he, he did show up. Uh, and I want to take a special moment to thank Smokey for being here. Again, uh, the crisis in corrections is real. Uh, last Monday in Thunder Bay, 
we saw that. Um, we faced, you know, our worst, second worst nightmare. I mean, there's only one, there's only one step to go further, right? And as I said before, our friend um, and our colleague and someone we've all hold near to our heart, his fear, honestly, was that it was all going to come true. He didn't think he was walking out of there. Uh, and you know what? That <laughs> That's not acceptable. And there has to be change. There has to be real change. We're going to push and we're not going to stop. But it doesn't just take me and it doesn't take Smokey. It takes all of us, right? We've all got to be together. And I think we owe it to Marie for that. You know what I mean? we got to make change. we got to, we got to make it happen. I don't buy into all this political bullshit that goes on about, you know, hating ops and hating everything. When the chips were down, in, quite all, in all honesty, Smokey was there. He flew me down to Queen's Park. He got us down there. He called Murray. He did all those little things as a leader, right? So I want to appreciate and say thank you for being here. <laughs> Mayor Hobbs, as always, appreciate it. You're always here. Uh, you know, whatever we need something, you're always uh, you're always there to help. So I appreciate it. Andrew Bowles from City Council is here as well. Uh, Joe Verderamo was here today. So I mean, as we can see, the community, uh, Chief Collins, uh, I contacted you on short notice, and I appreciate the fact that that you're here. Uh, I'd like to have a little bit more wholesome discussion with you about some stuff, and uh, we'll get to that. Um, but again, this is about uh, time for change, right? We're never ever going to go back. To what happened in there that's we can't we, we have to turn the page right um, I don't know where I don't know how we pick up the pieces but uh, I, mean, I guess that's something that we're gonna have to start looking at so um, before we take off there's one more person I want to introduce to come up and say uh, a couple words Monty Wiesemeyer from Merck is here our Merck chair and he's all the way up here I mean, he's got bargaining and everything going on but he still made the effort to come up here and, and stand with us and be united with us so Monty you can just come up for a second Thank you everyone for coming. Uh, one of the things I recognize, uh, the Sarnia Jail was slated to close and the community got behind saving the Sarnia Jail. I'm seeing that same resolve in Thunder Bay to build a new facility, get a proper facility. Also, the Assistant Deputy Minister who was shared with myself and Mike just a few minutes ago, once they're done with the post analysis in Central North, they're going to send them up here and they're going to do a post analysis to look at what staffing we need to properly staff this facility because as Mike said we can't go back but that having the community behind is very important thank you to the mayor thank you to the chief and everyone else is here I think that's very important thank you thanks Mike. all right so again uh, thanks everyone for being here um, is there anything else you'd like to add before you go? Uh, to all those affected, I mean, my heart goes out to all you guys. I mean, you know, we're a, we're a small bucket. We really are. That's what we call ourselves. Like, we're, a, we're a small little bucket. But what makes that hard is that we're all family. Like, we're all so close from our maintenance to our nurses to our officers to our managers. And uh, this one's really, it's really hit home uh, in a way that I don't know if anyone can ever understand. We're gonna get through, and we're gonna we're gonna win, and uh, that's it. I don't want to say anymore. So, thanks everyone for being here.